Also breaking within the last half hour, one of the NFL's top brass gave us more clues about what happened behind closed doors in New York today. The NFL executive vice president spoke a few hours after San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner made his 11th hour plea to NFL owners to keep the Chargers in San Diego. And 10 News anchor Ben Higgins, the only local TV reporter there. Ben. Kim, let me first say that I was in contact with Mark Fabiani, who was here all day with Dean Spanos to try to get a comment. They chose not to speak, instead uh, getting straight into a car and heading to the airport to go back to San Diego. So all of our NFL reaction is coming from Eric Grubman, who talked a lot about the timeline San Diego would need to get a stadium in place and whether the NFL thinks that the Chargers or the stadium can get done in San Diego. He also talked about the big announcement this morning, bringing in Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, on board to the Carson Stadium project. That a man of his stature, and capability and talent um, would be drawn to this really says something. If the Chargers do move to Los Angeles, the Carson Stadium will become the domain of Iger, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're going. Some people think that this is the final big move that will push the NFL to approving the Chargers and Raiders, but there's a completely different thought going as well that this could be a last desperation Hail Mary by the Chargers to try to catch up with an Inglewood Los Angeles Rams project that many here in New York think is the front runner for a team to move back to Los Angeles. So, Two very different ways you can look at this situation. We're live in Manhattan at the NFL offices covering the Chargers. I'm Ben Higgins, 10 News. It's all about perspective, Ben. Thank you.